Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday the 11th of October. My name is Arthur Copeman. I'm the Archdeacon of Newcastle and Rector of the Parish of All Saints Anew in the suburb of New Lambton in, in uh, Newcastle's urban area. And it's my privilege uh, to lead you in this time of morning prayer from our prayer book. It is Wednesday morning uh, prayer for the 11th of October. It's uh, no one's particular day or festival today. And so we uh, work through the usual prayers for Wednesday morning. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A song of God's grace found in the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, where he rejoices in what we have in Christ. He writes, Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. What wonderful words. Let's pray. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> the Psalms set for today are Psalms 95 and 96. O come, let us sing out to the Lord. Let us shout in triumph to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving and cry out to him joyfully in Psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the peaks of the mountains are his also. The sea is his and he made it. His hands moulded dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Today, if only you would hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the wilderness. When your forebears tested me, put me to proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I loathed that generation and said, It is a people who err in their hearts, for they do not know my ways, of whom I swore in my wrath. They shall not enter my rest. Psalm 96 O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth, sing to the Lord and bless his holy name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are mere idols. It is the Lord who made the heavens. Majesty and glory are before him. Beauty and power are in his sanctuary. Render to the Lord, you families of the nations. Render to the Lord glory and might. Render to the Lord the honour due to his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Say among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it can never be moved, and he shall judge the peoples with equity. 
Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the fields rejoice and everything in them. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout with joy before the Lord. For he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. We pray. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Bible from Matthew chapter 11, commencing at the 25th verse. <clears throat> at that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you've hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. At that time, Jesus went through the cornfields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some ears of corn and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, haven't you read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which was not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read in the law that the priests on Sabbath duty in the temple desecrate the Sabbath and yet are innocent? I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean... I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the innocent. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Te Deum Laudamus. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. With that in mind, let us come to prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Generous God, whose hand is open to fill all things living with plenteousness, make us ever thankful for your goodness and grant that we remembering the account we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your bounty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
across our diocese, especially this week, we do pray for the First Nations peoples of this diocese, Lord, that you would strengthen and encourage them leading up to the vote on Saturday in every way and bring reconciliation to our diocese and to our area and to our nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for our bishops, for Bishop Peter, Bishop Sonia and Bishop Charlie, that you would sustain and sustain and strengthen them and give them great wisdom, grace and power by your spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember the parishes of St Albans, down on the Hawkesbury, Terrigal and the entrance, praying for clergy and people, Lord, that your hand would be upon them, strengthening and growing the ministry in those places. And we remember the Newcastle Anglican Church Corporation Board, praying, Lord, for great wisdom and insights for those who sit on their board to make good decisions for the growing of your kingdom work in this place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we do hold before you the ministry of our cathedral, praying particularly for Dean Catherine and David, praying also for Gary Atherton as he assists there, for the music ministry, for the weekday ministry, for the weekend ministry, the mainly music ministry, the many, many different ministries there, the wedding ministry, baptism ministry, funeral ministry, that your hand would be upon them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, this day we hold before you those we know to be in need, praying for your grace upon them and your strength and your healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And thinking of need, Lord, we remember particularly both Ukraine and uh, Palestine, Israel, where there is war, praying, Lord, that you might bring peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray today.